Dona Elba opened up her taqueria eight years ago on Overton in Illinois. When she opened, she and her employees say they were nervous. Pues la verdad, sí, había muchos delincuentes aquí. Gracias a Dios, nunca hemos tenido una mala experiencia. The area around 3550 East Overton has long been considered the number one crime hotspots in Dallas. Victor Avalias knows he grew up here. I'm 49 years old and they've had the same reputation now that they've had when I was nine years old. What's your name, sis? But Dallas violence interrupters with Dallas Cred and Dallas police have been focused for the last year. I got two sisters that's six foot one. On bringing down crime here. We have a lot of OGs from the hood. They want to see their area come up. While Dallas police have made arrests and poured resources into the area, the community has been working to disrupt violence before it happens. The combined strategy has worked. That address was the number one uh, grid in our city. Uh, the highest count in our city, number one. And to sit here today, um, for it not to be a grid any longer um, is, is, is pretty extraordinary. It didn't happen by accident. That's a blessing to hear that this area is no longer on the, the crime grid. At Dona Elvas, they say they've noticed the difference. Todo está más tranquilo, más seguridad. Dallas violent crime is down across the city, something that hasn't happened in the summer months as long as anyone can remember. Dallas police and Dallas cred say that's a victory, but they know there's still a lot of work to be done to build up communities that have long been underserved. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.